Okay, and then next slide. So with all that that you just saw, I just want to give a little visual representation of how we use the information that was presented by Jeffrey about the survey and all of that kind of components and pieces, and it seems like a lot. Um, and then what Jill showed you in putting all that information to some type of a practical decision tree. So just to think about it in a holistic context, what we're really trying to do is make sure that information producers are properly linked up with information users, that what they're, how they're transferring information is effective, it's efficient, it's actually getting that endpoint so that all grant projects that are written or all, you know, things and efforts and projects and everything else that's put forth really is getting to that target audience at the end and knowing who that target audience is. So if you can click next. So one of the main questions that we're really asking when we think about this, and if I can get the um, next piece is, is this an important link? So think about a lot of times when you do start a project or you kind of have a person in mind, a group in mind, and you write a grant to that, we really have to think, is that the most important link for what your organization does, what type of information you put out? Like the survey said, you may think that producers are your target audience. That's who you want to get to. But the things that you put out, your expertise may actually be far better targeted towards maybe a level above producers. So you're looking at NRCS or districts or those professionals who then help producers who can then distill that information into the proper format. So first of all, think about that. Is, is the user that you're selecting appropriate? And vice versa, by the way, if you're a, an organization that needs a product, you may always think like, oh, I should just go to Extension. They're the ones who produce it. Well, maybe not. There may be a different organization that is more appropriate or a specific sector of the university that is. So this, this goes both ways. So next. The next question, too, is what is a key product? So you really want to think about, you know, what is it that you're producing. You may think, oh, I love making models and I need producers, so I'll just make a producer model, you know, a, a model for producers is my end product. Well, when you look at what producers use, they don't use models. You know, it's, it's oftentimes too complicated, it doesn't make sense to them. They want something different. And so this is really going to help you understand what is that key product and vice versa. If you're an information user, you might determine you know, we really want a model. Like, we know that's going to be helpful to us. And maybe you're typically using uh, a government service agency to do that, and you realize they don't put out models. So you're going to have to change to someone else. Find that relevant collaboration so that you can get that going both directions. So very important. So it's that product. It's between the information producer and the information user finding that totally appropriate product after you find that appropriate audience. The next piece is understanding those barriers to use. We saw a lot of graphs along the way here that showed all of the different types of barriers, or in some cases, there are no barriers, but maybe you're still having a little bit of challenge, you know, linking up with certain things. So maybe you want to take a step back, well, was it the right product or the right collaborator? So really thinking about understanding those barriers as a means to overcome them so you can put out the best thing possible. And then lastly, there might be opportunities for working with people or products or anything else that you never thought of. You may in your organization think, oh, social media is the way of the future. It's what we have to get to. Well, maybe not. Or if you break things out by demographics, which we didn't do today, but have, as Jeffrey noted, we've got a lot of data and the ability to do some custom analysis for those who are interested, you might find that when you break it down, in a demographic, maybe by age group, you may find that there is a specific age group that finds social media far more relevant than a different age group. If, again, we're thinking directly of producers, you may think, oh, we want to get to producers, social media, we're getting out to all the young kids. You are, but with the average age of producers being in the high 50s, you may not be catching that demographic. 
So thinking of things in many different ways to find better opportunities and the most appropriate ones for all those different groups is very important.